what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hello fellow Chibis, this is Catching Fire 3 with some more Life is Strange. It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. No one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. He probably Who is. Who password? How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Step douche. Imagine his password was actually step douche. Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty milk. I can even see the combination. It might be a useful password. 7171. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Try again. Okay, maybe I should look for more clues before I do things. Nothing to see here. Well, yeah, there's corn, I think. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe I could try Stepdad for the password. Hmm. Nah, he would never, would he? I mean, he doesn't like his stepchild, so. Nothing in it. No, I want to switch it off so he doesn't get paranoid or something. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. Let's check this. I could try the license number for the password. Okay. Book. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Sun visor, maybe? Maybe if we go into the sun visor? Joyce might as well have wrote what might be a useful password. Could be. Car. Okay, that... Tape. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good... Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. He probably did, though. I mean, think about maybe it was a different marriage. <sighs> Army, that one. Nope. Not that no one. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Okay, family. This date. School. Oh, it worked. The hacker strikes again. Nice! Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Who's Frank? Oh, Frank, okay. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Let's talk to Chloe. Oh, who's Taylor? Hey, Max, just wanted to thank you for actually giving a shit about me and my mom. We all saw how much you cared about Kate when nobody else did. Okay. She did not have that hair color before, did she? It was It was all blue, wasn't it? Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. I know, you right? For sure it was Blackwell students. Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Your own stepdaughter? Yeah, I don't think so. 
figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras, so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Uh-oh, I don't like this. Ah! I'll start with David for Listen, this scene. We don't know that David did anything, and nobody has any proof against him. As far as we know, it's Nathan Prescott who's the real threat so far. I would cut David slack here. How would you? How generous, King Max. So suddenly it doesn't matter how shady David has been acting. Or that he keeps all those weird files on your classmates. Or how you're always going off on how creepy David Enough. is. Enough! I don't want anybody being accused of anything. There's been too much of that crap going on around here lately, and I don't want it in my home today. Well, I agree with that. Now, if you all don't mind, I'd like to forget about work and sit down and eat some of this incredible grub. I have to take a dump. Are you coming, Max? I feel bad. I want to see Maybe how both things play out. On David for Joyce's sake. Come on, go faster, please. Oh, I have to press X. Okay, R1, skip, 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 side with Chloe. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? He oh, should. I, I mean, he was in the military. Six. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day, Chloe. For once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. I, I feel bad, but anything for Max, Chloe, you know. Beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Yep. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. I'm rewinding. Whoa! No, I imagine just rewind because of her. I'm just saying, better not rewind this. That was the coolest shit ever. And then I just rewind. I rewound and took your father's side, bitch. No, that would be such a dick move. I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. I s oh, and Frank is more than friends <laughs> right no way Max. she was just posing to tease frank if you're not gonna believe me why don't we check out what frank has in his rv what's that gonna prove frank has rachel's bracelet what else does he have in there motherfucker better not have anything for his sake <laughs> i like this game frank gets so wasted he sometimes forgets to lock it. wait what's that say on the car i don't know What's he eating? I don't know. It looks gross, but he's literally playing with it and pretending to eat. Out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. 
Shitballs. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Yeah, I don't know how the fuck to find a quick I'm supposed to do this. To Frank's keys. Steal them. Got it. Dead. Oh, she does have a dead Maxine pop here. I'm sorry I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know your mom is very proud of you for sending that girl. As am I. We have no doubt sending you to... We have no doubt sending... Oh, okay. Sending you to Blackwell was the best thing you ever demanded we do. It makes us so proud to read about you in the news and see the actual video of you walking down from the roof with that girl. If you want to come back home now and relax and maybe go to a high school around here, the door is wide open. Love, Pop. Thanks, Pop. It's been a whirlwind here. I'm ready to come. I'm not ready to come home yet. Talk later, Max. So XO. Yeah. Good Lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Is this Nathan? Nathan and Frank together? That's what is Warren saying? Okay, it's officially sold out, but I managed to get us both tickets. Had to fight a dozen boys off for him, though. Freaking nerds. Bad yeah, uncle. you can't be calling anyone a nerd. Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. Imagine she said that out loud. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. I should have known that was gonna happen. You, I'm gonna kill you. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you oh, know watch out. We got a badass over here. She looks beautiful. <laughs> Taking out the you look like early 2000s. Uh, the, the early 2010s memes. Let's, let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking. Two drugs <laughs> get fucked like a boss. Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer. Or even Nathan. And then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Fun. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname. Right there. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping get that. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky, and right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackpool Academy. Uh, Kate Marsh. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. David Madsen, I whoever like the- David oh yeah. Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Carl. Rachel, uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, oh look, Max Amber. Is that your punk rock girl outfit? That was classic. Watching you turn on your everyday hero Jefferson yesterday. Well, what the fuck, Consider dickhead? I'm gonna punch him. Diner with a police officer right over there. You shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. No worries, cause you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. At least you were smart enough to keep your big mouth shut in the principal's office. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down. What a dickhead. He sounds like the Joker, right. only like a Plus, dickhead, you know? You're an adult now. I could sue your dumbass for libel. 
What does Thanks. libel mean? Libel, a published false statement that is damaging to a person's reputation or written defamation. So he's gonna do a false lawsuit against defamation, which would be defamation in itself. So makes plenty of sense when you're rich. Am I right, guys? Fuck off, Dyke. That is rude. Holy shit, what do you want now? Your sugar daddy will always protect you and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I can help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? What a fucking dick. dick! I don't like this guy, but I need Holy to keep talking to you. Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. <laughs> if you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Holy I don't like this guy, but... I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I hate this I douche. Like you would He's like the ugliest Frank person in this game so far. Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. What can I do for you, Max? Okay. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell with Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. Probably. I wouldn't... I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. And to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs. Kept nice. Kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You wouldn't let Chloe stay away, right? What can I do for you, Max? Oh. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land. Sorry if I'm not talking. Mr. I'm just Prescott helped out trying to figure once, out what this ago. is. I, I have nothing really to say while this is going on until this very point. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Okay, before you finish. Oh, you fuck. I shouldn't have said that. I need to rewind. Just so I can talk to him again. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? <laughs> I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, man. Okay, good. Can I speak to him still? What can I do for you, Max? Never mind. Got nothing to say to you, boy. You look like a motherfucking. I'm taking out all the old memes right now. Like, come on. Holy sh! I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you, Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit. My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Are you fucking stupid? Get out of my space. 
Well, what a dickhead. I shouldn't have said that. I'll need to rewind. Hello, oh, Nathaniel. Shit. Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So, Rachel wanted Frank's stash. Okay, I think I need to check how long I've been recording this video, so uh, I'll be right back, maybe, to do the outro. So, I guess I'm doing the outro because I've been doing this for 20 minutes. If you like this video, leave a like, comment down below what you want me to do next, or if you want to see more of this, subscribe if you're new, and may the odds be ever in your favor. Of course, whenever I say subscribe if you're new, it's just a generic YouTube outro, you know, whatever.